Hello traders and welcome to Stock Goodies Chart School. The Ulcer Index was developed by Peter Martin and Byron McCann in 1987 and it was first introduced in their 1989 book The Investor's Guide to Fidelity Funds. It is a volatility indicator that measures downside risk. It was originally designed with mutual funds in mind, which is why it is only focused on downside risk, because mutual funds are designed to make money by increasing in value, so their only risk is the drawdown or downside. It is not an indicator, but a statistical measure of downside risk that can be used to compute risk-adjusted returns when comparing stocks, ETFs, or mutual funds. Many chartists consider the ulcer index superior to the standard deviation and other measures of risk. So let's go ahead and load up the ulcer index on this chart for Cisco Systems Incorporated, ticker CSCO here at StockCharts.com. Down here in the chart attributes area, click in the indicators box and scroll to the bottom. The ulcer index has a standard setting of a 14-day look-back period, and it works best on weekly charts. Now, I'm going to add a simple moving average set at the 52 period, which will give us a look at how it, a stock has performed on average over the last year. Let's go ahead and click Update, and the UI at 14 on Cisco here has a reading of 4.19 and it is above the one year moving average of 3.01. Okay now as you can see it's well above its average right here on this drawdown. It actually was topping out at over 15 percent. So if you calculate the top here and then see how far it fell uh, that should be about 15 percent. Now being above its average is bearish. Okay, When a stock is in an uptrend it is near zero. These numbers on the right will tell you the percent of drawdown or downside that could be expected. And what, what you use this for basically is to compare Let's say you're looking at four stocks in the technology sector, like Cisco. Okay, It has an average drawdown of 3.01 over a year period. It's above its average at 4.19%. Okay, So you want to look at three other stocks and compare it. So let's take a look at Yahoo, ticker symbol YHOO, and its average is slightly lower over the year at 2.24 percent and right now it's at 4.63 percent which is a bit higher than Cisco's 4.19 percent. Let's take a look at Oracle ORCL. It has an average higher than both at 4.55 and its actual reading right now over the last 14 days or 14 weeks is 5.68 percent. So that's the highest one so far. Now let's take a look at Intel, INTC. Okay, it is the highest one of them all. So it has the most downside risk. The one year average is 5.56% and it's above that at 6.35%. You can also use it to compare ETFs. Let's look at a few of the spider ETFs. Okay, the XLF is the financial sector spider. And it's pretty tame right here. It's got a one year average of 1.38% and a 14 week reading of 2.56%. Let's look at XLU which is the utility sector. Now it's a bit higher with a one-year average at 2.84 
and a 14 week average of 2.48. So it's slightly below its average there. Okay, let's try XLK, which is the technology sector spider. Okay, it's got a pretty tame reading right now of 1.57%. And its 52 week average is 2.36%. XLI is the industrials. And it's got a really low reading here of 1.38 on average and the last 14 weeks at 1.74%. XLV is the health sector. And so far it's the best looking sector as far as the ulcer index goes. Its average is the lowest and 1.88 I believe is one of the lowest readings so far. And XLE is the energy spider sector. Okay, it's pretty low too. With an average over the year at 2.28 and it's well below the average at 1.81 over the last 14 weeks. So that's basically what you use it for. If you're interested in investing in ETFs, you know, what you do is you run through these. XLE at 1.81, XLV at 1.88, XLI at 1.74. So far, that's the winner, the industrial sector. Ah, here's a lower one, the technology sector, XLK, with a reading of 1.56 here is the least amount of risk. The XLU is quite high with a reading of 2.49. And the XLF is got a reading of 2.54 above its average. Okay, so that's basically how you use it. It will allow you to choose a sector or a stock within a sector that has the least amount of risk or potential downside. Now, as an example, let's say your favorite sector is the energy sector, specifically the big oil refiners like ExxonMobil is. And you're choosing between three stocks, three of the biggest refiners, your favorite three refiners. And you want to know which one has the least amount of downside risk. So you load up the ulcer index with a standard 14 week setting on a two year weekly chart and the first thing you do is look at the the highs okay it's generally below its average that's pretty good okay and it's one year weekly average is 1.83 percent and its current reading over the last 14 weeks is 3.55 percent so that's not a real steep pullback. Okay, let's take a look at Tesoro Petroleum Corp, ticker symbol TSO. Okay, its weekly average over the last year is 5.83%. That's very high. And its current reading is 14.66%. So this one is an extremely volatile stock. It's great for day trading and doing short swing trades, but this is not one I would buy and hold, especially when you see a bearish head and shoulder chart pattern forming with the head right here, the left shoulder here, and the right shoulder here. Both of these, actually all of them have tall upper wicks at the tops, and it has currently, as of this week, closed below the neckline support. So I would expect it to fall here. Okay, so this one looks pretty dangerous. Let's go on to Valero Energy Corp, ticker symbol VLO. Okay, this one's a bit milder with an average over the last year of 6.07% and the current 14 week look back at 11.46%. So it's pretty clear here that both Tesoro and Valero at above 10% possible drawdown are not your best bets. 
but you know Exxon Mobil trading at about ninety dollars is out of the price range of many traders so you, there's a number of factors you have to look at but as far as ulcer index goes Exxon Mobil is the clear winner out of these three choices.